You see it sometimes, like when they're doing the lab, and you catch a student or catch a student sort of just sitting back and scanning the room, and you can see that they're like, yeah, this is this is it. You know, these are people that come from every different state, every different country, many different backgrounds, many different ethnicities, socioeconomic backgrounds. But yet there is this kinship, this this sense that you found a home. Paleobiology is a hybrid of biology, geology, and paleontology. We're essentially in three weeks studying four billion years of life history. What are you seeing in the oysters here? Kind of like this. And so, yeah, use your hands. Okay, so they're sort of all like that. I tell them at the beginning that we will cover a lot. And at the end of the session, I tell them that they have covered anywhere from a semester to a semester and a half of college level material in three weeks. They don't realize, I think, at the time that they're doing something extraordinary, which makes it even better. They're doing it for the love of learning it. Puffy Pink, summer of 1993. Um, I did four summers of CTY as a student at the site in the building that I now teach in. Little me, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing there. It was a series of happy accidents that I happened to even know about CTY. I went to a really small school. I definitely had the reputation for being you know, the nerd, the teacher's pet. And then I was really sick in seventh grade. They diagnosed me with Lyme disease. It started just as a flu, and then within a few weeks I couldn't walk. I was really sick. So I didn't go to school for most of the year, and then ended up getting a letter in the mail saying you've qualified for this Center for Talented Youth. So my mom signed me up for it. Not really sure if I was actually going to be around, or, but I was like, I'm going to go take this standardized test. And I think that I was so hungry for kinship with my intellectual peers that year that I spent not being challenged. That CTI was really amazingly transformative experience. Like a lot of former CTY students, I had always thought I'd really love to come back to CTY. I remember the classes, I remember the rigor, but I also remember doing the activities and dancing like a fool. The staff alone interacts in a way that is indicative of the fact that we are really all intellectually curious and that we are socially well-rounded. It really was sort of like peering behind the secret curtain, but in a good way, finding out that behind the secret curtain, it wasn't like a Wizard of Oz moment where you find out it's a sham. You find out that we are all people who have committed ourselves to a lifetime of learning. <laughs>